Hey, what's good everyone, Sinu here back with my video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own 2D intro on Android. So this video I'm going to be using Photoshop Touch and Kine Master. Both of these apps will be in the description below. If you guys don't have them, you can download them for free. Let's get started. So as you can see, I'm on Photoshop or Touch right over here. The first thing that you need to do is to press on this plus button, create a brand new project. The resolution doesn't really matter. So the first thing that you have to do is to go ahead and press on this end sign and hit on fill and stroke. And once you guys have done this as you can see make sure that the color is white and then go ahead and just save this photo into your gallery by hitting on this save to gallery so okay and you should be done so go ahead and move on to the next step so as you can see right over here i'm going to be using the circle selection tool to draw a circle around the project just like this and once you guys are actually done with this, hit on this pen button right over here and you should be see this feature which says clear. So just hit on clear and it should create a hole just like this. So the, the next step is to go ahead and just save the photo, but make sure that the photo format is set to PNG. If you set it to GPEG, the tutorial will not help you. So you need to make sure that it is PNG. So you need to do the exact same steps, but this time make sure you draw a, a rectangle instead. So as you can see, it's a small rectangle. Once you guys are done with this, you need to go ahead and import a text into your actual uh, uh, project, just like this. And make sure that the text is your name, just like that. So my name is Sinu, I did put Sinu right there. And make sure that it is a lot, uh, that it is so close to the actual rectangle, but make sure that it's not touching it just like this. So you can make it even bigger and just adjust it and just put it however you like it. Alright, once you guys are done, go ahead and press on this rectangle right over here and you should be seeing the select pixels uh, feature. Press on it and once you guys are done with this, hit on clear, which is this button right over here. Then select the bottom layer, which is this one right over here and hit on this uh, button right over here and you should be seeing clear just like this. Just press on it and you should be having something just like this. Just save the photo that we just made on Photoshop Touch and make sure that it is PNG, hit OK and it will be saved into your gallery. And now let's move on to the next step. So now go ahead to Kine Master. If you guys don't have this app again, the link will be in the description below. You can download it from there. So once you guys are actually done with this, go ahead and just import on the project like a background that you find cool. So as you can see, I have this background right over here. And you can go to the cropping option and change the animation. So the next step, go ahead and just press on this layer button and hit on media and then go ahead and just uh, import this circle layer that you created on Photoshop Touch. Make sure that you put it uh, like uh, full screen or just make sure that it is as big as that. And once you guys are done, go ahead and just drag it up just like this until you cannot see it. And once you guys are actually done with this, go ahead to around one second and a half or one second just like this and hit on this scissors button, which means crop and crop it from the right of the playhead. And so once you guys are done with this, go ahead now and just go to the end of the layer and hit on this key button. So create a brand new keyframe by pressing on this plus button and drag this circle down just like this. So once you guys are actually done with this, you'll be having an animation just like that. So as you can see, we created a really cool animation. And now let's move on to the next step, which is adding this layer that we created on Photoshop Touch as well. So add it alongside with the other blank documents that we created. So this is the blank document that we created. So make sure that it is full screen just like this and just drag it. So make sure that you cover up the actual name. So the only thing that you need to see is this rectangle that we created. So basically make sure that it is just covering the whole text and then you'll be having something like this. So now you need to add an animation, press on the blank document and go ahead and just add the swipe up uh, option. Make sure that it says 0 0.5 uh, seconds just like that. And then do the exact same process with the rectangle and the text layer just like that and you will end up having something something like that so make sure that you are on this frame right over here press on the rectangle and the text layer and just create a brand new keyframe right over here then drag it to around four or three seconds and move the actual layer to the left just like that and you'll be having something like this so go ahead and create the exact same amount of animation for the blank document and make sure that when, when you transform it transform it to the left which is the opposite uh, the opposite uh, direction of our uh, rectangle and text just like that and you should be having something like this all right, so once you are happy with the actual animation, it's the time to add, of course, music into your intro because intro without music is really boring. So I have this really cool music right over here if you guys would like to download it. The link will be in the description below. 
and it's free music to use just go ahead and download it it's really cool so once you guys are actually done with this go ahead and just cut the actual music um until you'll be happy with it just like this and i'm actually really happy about the results and you guys can get even more creative so once you guys are done hit on this share button right over here and go ahead and hit on save video to gallery and you can save it into full hd resolution if you your device is supported so at the end you'll be having something like that And keep in mind guys that this is just a tutorial to show you how to make an intro, the basics on how to make an intro. I didn't get uh, any creative or something like that. And if you just have more time, you can go ahead and get a whole lot creative than me. And you will end up having something even better than what I did have for this tutorial. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you don't have an intro, go ahead and make one. Because intros make your videos look really cool. Make sure also that the intro is not that long. So yeah, this is... That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and just drop a like down below. Also guys, check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy me already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace out.